Oh, it's exciting for Ro for Rovman and for and for Delhi Capitals. He's got incredible power. He's got incredible skill, and he's shown this on the international stage as well for the for the West Indies a number of times. So, um, you know, we all knew that it was just a matter of time when he was going to um, put it all together in a game. And the situation that arose for him, he was he was ready to take it on. And unfortunately, he just um, he got us very close, but not close enough. Um, but it's exciting to be able to see him just put that all together. That's going to give him a lot of confidence going in the back end of the back end of the tournament. Yeah, the conversations with Rodman is it's mainly just around like what are the things that he does like technically when he's when he's had his best days, and then also what's his intensity and, and his mindset like when he's when he's going to his games when he's at his best as well. And that's the main things we're really talking talking about because everything you do is trying to bring those two components together. Every ball that you go, every ball that you face. Um, so it was great to be able to see that like switch on and, and turn it on the last game and he, know, he knows the recipe and it wasn't it was always going to just take a couple of balls for him to be able to find that um, find that groove and he certainly did. For me the the most important thing is us getting closer and closer to playing at the perfect game of T20 cricket and then just doing that over and over again. We've had that a few times, we did that against Kings, um, Punjab Kings where we were good. We weren't our absolute best but Kings on that day weren't, weren't great um, and we've had some other performance where we've got really close to that. And that's all we can do. All we can do is try and put 40 overs of as perfect T20 cricket as we possibly can. Um, and we've got the calibre and skill and we've shown that um, throughout the tournament with the all-round capabilities we've got in our team and in our squad. Um, and we've just got to continue to work through how we can find that and bring that every game that we're, that we're playing. It is challenging when you're isolated because we're human beings, we're social animals. So when you're, when you're isolated from the group, um, it, does make it, it does make it challenging um, when you're just in your own thoughts for more than a couple of days. Um, and no doubt it's, it was challenging for the group, um, but it also made us appreciate getting out as well, getting to the ground, getting to training, getting to the game as well to, to appreciate being out, in the fresh, <laughs> being out in the fresh air and making the most of that. So um, yeah, it was, it was definitely a challenging week for, for everyone, having to sort of work through that isolation period. But but now everyone's everyone's excited to be out here, and they're, they're certainly in the right in the right mindset um, for them to to bring bring our best version of ourselves to the rest of the tournament. In the end, we've got seven games to go, and we've got to we've just got to bring we've got to be at our best. It's as simple as that. For us to be able to get as get into the finals, we have to be more consistently. Um, playing at a best for the whole 40 overs, not just 35 or um, 36. It has to be the whole 40 overs. So, and and we can we we know that we can do that. We just got to have the discipline in our own in our own games to be able to to be able to do that throughout the throughout the whole 40 overs. So, that for me is the most exciting thing. Is we've got the incredible skill and incredible talent within our group, and we just got to harness that and bring that together for the next seven games. And we're a great chance to be able to do that.